the first four drivers on this restart have not won this year. Uh, the two Jeffs that I was talking about in the pre-race show right. are the Jeffs. Play the code spotter sweepstakes for a chance to win a custom Roush Mustang at codespotter.com. 131 laps to go, at least one more pit stop. I'd say if we stay caution free, and I, I know I'm, 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 it's not like I'm kidding, <laughs> yeah. but that's wishful thinking. Well, hey. with the strategy we're seeing, I, I think we're definitely looking at maybe a two stop race to get to the end of this thing because it just looks like that track position. And it's not because of arrow push or any of those things. This place is hard to pass, it's narrow. Right now is your best opportunity to pass somebody if you can just get by them without running over them. So everyone has at least two fresh tires. As the Camaro Pace car goes to pit road, Jeff Burton and Jeff Gordon bring them down for the restart. It'll be 130 laps to go as we go back under the green flag. Well, that was a pretty good restart by Jeff Gordon that time. He drops in second behind nice Burton. Job, nice job. Drive away from it. Rudiman third, Montoya fourth, and then it jams up a little bit. Back where Kevin Harvick is. Side by side with Jamie Mack behind Ryan Newman and just out of the top five. We got a new player in the top ten. You see that 12 car, Brad Keselowski, sitting up there in the eighth spot right now. And you know what I like about him, Larry? I don't think we've mentioned him much tonight at all. And that means he's kept his nose very clean. <laughs> True X tried the inside on Joey Logano. Trying to grab spots anywhere you can. And what Martin Truex Jr. in that 56 car is trying to do is pass Joey Logano to be the first car lap down should we get the caution. It's the free pass. Hello. Yikes. Elliot Sadler, the 19, trying to get out of harm's way. Harm being the 9, the 8 of Casey Kane, the 18 of Kyle Busch, and the 83 of Brian Vickers. Hmm. That was interesting because it looks like that 18 car, I didn't look like, it didn't look like he was carrying much speed, but he, uh, he got out of that hole pretty good and he's... All right, now. That's a heck of a fight for 16th place. It really is. The front four cars have not been to victory lane since. For Jeff Burton, it's been 51 races. 39 races for Jeff Gordon in second. 34 races. That's last year's Coke 600 for David Rudiman. And 102 races for Juan Montoya. Hungry? You bet. And when I think about two of those four cars, actually three of them in particular, but Gordon and Montoya, they have fast race cars every single week. They just have not with the victory lane this year. And here, here's what I'm watching. I'm watching the front of the field, the top tenner. I'm watching it slowly pay off for the for the veteran drivers. You got Burton and Gordon up there, and then you got Harvick, who's pretty good here, as we well know. But you slip on down here to Kurt Busch in 10th, and Mark Martin is slipped up to 11th place here, quietly doing it. There's how long it's been since the last visit to Victory Lane for our front four. Krista? Well, I mentioned that the last three stops, Jeff Burton and crew chief Todd Barrier have elected to take two tires. Speaking to Todd Barrier today, he said four tires, eh, I just don't think it's going to work. It doesn't make any sense for Darlington, but nothing this weekend makes any sense. Well, I think a lot of them paid close attention to that nationwide series race last night. Like Daryl pointed out, they, they run the same tire, and I think they learned a lot from what they saw there. This is a heck of a tire. To not, it just doesn't have to give up, and you don't need four of them to be good. Richard Childress racing with two cars in the top half dozen. Kevin Harvick just made a run on Ryan Newman for fifth, and then dropped back in line in front of Hamlin. Their other teammate, Clint Boyer, has been in and out of the garage all night and is 36 laps down. Great problems. Let me correct myself. You need four tires. Yes. <laughs> you just don't need four new tires. Yeah. Hamlin makes the pass. He comes up to sixth. He's on his way back to the front. Yes, he is. But just talking about how much grip this racetrack is getting, Jeff Burton, the 31 car leader, just a couple of laps ago, not only cut the fastest lap of the race that he's run, but the fastest lap of the race, period. 16th place. Quite a battle. Greg Biffle in the 16. Brian Vickers, 83. And their lap times 
are well off the lead pace because they've been fighting each other for position. Oh yeah, they, they're just. <laughs> and they're here comes Martin. They're slowing each other down is all they're doing. Somebody needs to yield here. Well, you really hear him having to pedal that throttle on the exit of the corner. And, and you see that little orange dot way up in front of him right now. That's Joey Logano in the 20 car. He's the first car one lap down. Quick update on cars out of the race. Jimmy Johnson crashed with A.J. Allmendinger. Johnson's out. Allmendinger in the garage under repair. Also out as you watch Martin Truex and Casey Kane go at it. Robbie Gordon in the garage and out of the race. Todd Bodine, Michael McDowell, J.J. Yaley, Dave Blaney, and Reed Sorensen. Guys were going at it pretty hard there down the straightaway. You know, last week Casey Kane was having an issue with Joey Logano. They had a battle for several laps. Now it looks like he's going to have a kind of pretty good battle going here with Martin Truex tonight. Now Kane's a lead lap car. He's in 19th. Truex is one lap down in 25th. So they weren't racing for position as Logano and Kane were last week right. to try to be the first car right. for the free pass. The here car. comes Hamlin. And I think we mentioned in the, in the opening of the race here that the two cars that people said really look good and keep your eyes on are these two cars we're watching right now. That 11 FedEx car with Denny Hamlin and the 39 car of uh, Ryan Newman. People were saying those were the two best cars out there, they thought. Newman trying to hold off Kevin Harvick now for sixth. Kevin started back in the 35th position, worked his way up to the top 15, and now he's been inside the top 10 for a number of laps. Yeah, he lost a good bit of time, as we said, on that one pit stop there. But here he is. He's fought his way right back up into the thick of things. Dale Jr., Brian Vickers, 15th place. And Jr. lets Vickers go. Yeah, and, and that's just it's a classic move right there. Take it low into turn three. Hopefully the guy will give you enough room to slide up. Harvey keeps nibbling away at Ryan Newman's position. Can't make the pass for six though. Harvey settled in here in seventh for a while. But one thing I noticed about these cars ever since they went to the rear spoiler. These cars have a lot more rear downforce. And, and they just seem like they get into the corner a lot faster than they did with the wing. Cars are a little easier to get into the corner with a little more speed. And there you saw Ryan Newman back out of it early, allow Harvick the entrance into the corner, so neither one of them is slowed down by the pass. Smart racing at Darlington. 117 laps to go in the Showtime Southern 500. Jeff Burton leading Jeff Gordon by eight tenths of a second. 